Hey, you guys. Uh, I'm here with uh, with this new pedal I want to try out. Um, this is a TC Helicon duplicator, which is the green box stomp box for your voice. That's why I'm using headphones and this Shure SM58. Um, so the SM58 is going directly into uh, my interface. All right, so let's open this thing up. Um, so I picked it up as a demo unit from Sweetwater. I saw an awesome sales price of uh, like $78. And I was like, yes, let's buy that. So Sweetwater says, thank me. Whoa. Happy new gear day to me. Well, actually, this is a gift. This is gonna be for my vo for for the singer of my band. Oh, cool sticker. Give you all sort. Give you all sorts of stuff. I'm gonna have a hard time keeping on top of this mic for this demo. All right, so we got candies. I was kind of wondering if they would send candies for my little B stock demo unit pedal glad they did though okay uh, so here's the unit and it's a pretty plain cardboard box elegant yet simple has been opened and things like this oh demo I like the I like the packaging. It's pretty nice. Demo voicing doubling. Got all these things. Ultra simple vocal effect stomp box with doubling reverb and pitch correction. So the thing that I like about these box, and I think I mentioned it on the mass critical mass pedal that I just picked up, is that beyond having this duplicator effect, which is cool, but who wants to be duplicated all the time? It has some tone, like a tone button that just makes everything sound better. It kind of, I mean, it, it, you know, it's an easy way to get some sort of compression, DSing, vocal EQ, just super simple out of the box. We'll hear how it sounds. I mean, I, I'm kind of skeptical because can this be good for a baritone male vocal as it would a soprano female vocal. It seems kind of crazy. All right, let's plug it in. So it takes a standard nine volt. Let's talk about what else it has on here. It's got an on off switch. So on off. Um, it's got a few lights on the front. It's got this green one. It's got this tone one. You can turn on and off. Then this red one. Oh, that's the pedal on and off. Um, so it's got a microphone input and output. And it's got a USB. But from what I understand, the USB is just for firmware updates and those kind of things. It's got an on off switch, of course. And then it's got doubling knob, reverb knob, and correction. Give me one second while I plug this bad boy in. Hopefully it doesn't crackle too much in my audio signal. All right. Wow, it already sounds a whole help, whole bunch different. All right. So here we go. Um, this is, so I'm just talking into it. The tone's off, 
the effects off. Um, maybe there's some correction. I can't tell. I don't know what it would be using as a baseline for the vocal correction. It seems like it's already doubled or something though. Does it? Da, 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 da. All right, so let's start by turning on the tone. So you should be able to turn on the tone and just get a better audio quality. Um, some EQ, some compression, some DSing, DSing, S S S S S S. I don't know that I can tell from the headphones how much different it's making. I'll have to report back to you after using it in the live pres uh, live setting. All right. So the correction, 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 correction. Yeah, you can hear it kind of kicking in now. It's correcting me 100%. So this is completely off. This is 12 o'clock. This is 100%. Can't really hear it unless you're singing 12 o'clock, 100%. Cool. I'm guessing that it just tries to get to the closest note. I mean... I think we could all, I mean, I could use a little correction and I'll probably set mine at like 12 o'clock. I don't want to start sounding like Lil Wayne or something, but I want to sound a little bit better than Lil Dan, you know? All right, so it's also got reverb built in that isn't part of the effect. And it uses one knob with three styles of reverb. Um, I think the critical mass that I reviewed that I'm going to be using for myself also has this. But as I turn it up, this is the room reverb. Room reverb. Room reverb. That's like all the room reverb you're going to get. And then it starts over. See, we're at like, what is that? Like uh, 11 o'clock or something, 10 o'clock. And then that starts the club reverb. And you're in the club. You got the club, oh man, got the club, and then you start over. Now we're in the hall, got the hall, 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 hall reverb. It's pretty nice. All right, so. And then we have the same sort of knob for the doubling. With the doubling, we have tight, loose, and octaves. Um, I'm gonna have a little reverb on there because it's kind of nice. And then we'll do the doubling, put it on. All right, so this is a doubling, it's so tight. We're at nine o'clock with the tightest doubling. This is like the tightest, most tight doubling you can get. And then it starts over, and we got that loose, loosest doubling, the loosest doubling. So you can you can hear that it's it's not a straight up double like this tight one. It's a loose one like this. Ooh, I can hear the low, the low guy. Oh, uh, oh, and then the next thing is the octaves. We hear that kicking in. We got the octaves. It's a double of me. Yeah. The octaves. It's a double of me. Oh yeah. That is the effect I would use if we're going to use this pedal. I don't think the person that's going to get this pedal is going to use that one, but He's not awesome. That's the problem. No, I'm just kidding. He's super awesome. Um, yeah, so that's the TC Helicon duplicator. Um, I thought I'd put up 
little demo because there's a bunch of other demos, but they're not nearly as stupid as this demo. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I appreciate everything. Bye.